All right, good day from Breeding Tilapia and Loxahatchee. All right, this is all my little koi. Well, they're tilapia, but they look like koi. Now, these guys just breeding away, and they are just growing so nicely. But we're going to change the name of Breeding Tilapia and Loxahatchee to Breeding Duckweed in Loxahatchee. Now, I put the females over here and put them with a blue tilapia. And you can't see it, but these, they're, they're, this is a whole fish full of tank uh, babies again. This, she's over here. She's got a whole bunch of fry down here. They are really putting out lots and lots of babies. Now, if our new addition is duckweed. We have duckweed. We have the right duckweed. See the green duckweed on top? I have duckweed tanks in the back. We scoop it out of there, put it over here. And then all these babies are growing off of the duckweed. This duckweed is growing in here. We got the duckweed back there. And this here was the hybrid fish. We moved the hybrid fish to a different tank because they were growing nice and big. And uh, they're out there in another tank. But I want to show you this duckweed. This is the per there, there's a hundred different brands of duckweed, but this is what you want. Look at this here. This is really tiny, tiny duckweed. Little bitty roots. Really, really nice. Little bitty stuff. Little bitty roots on it. It just, that's full grown too. That's it. And um, the fish, the fish absolutely love it. Now, if I can take a quick walk through. Um, oh. Here's a little sprouting tray, side track. See what I do? I turn this, uh, I turn this switch on on the wall here, and that little thing right there bubbles up water. When the water comes up, it soaks all those lettuce plants, and those lettuce plants start growing. I do that a couple times a day, and that's it for them. And uh, I hope I don't lose my battery. Looks like I might lose my battery. So let me walk through this here real quick. Now, my fish out here, and, uh, where we were doing the aquaponic setup, and uh, I haven't showed you the aquaponic setup lately. Um, that's it up here growing. And uh, here, I don't normally use feed anymore, but I got some feed right here just to show you. See, these guys got the duckweed going in here too. Let's see if they'll even eat the food. I put some food in there. Oh yeah, they'll still eat the food. Let me, let me see. Um, yeah, I got the fish in here. They're, they still like the food. Um, but here's my aquaponic setup. I got a... I forget what I have growing up there. I have a... Let me put the lid back on this. I have tomato plants growing. I have cucumbers. I have... Um, uh, what's that yellow stuff? Squash. Here, let me, it's a jungle in there. Look at all the beautiful plants growing. Got nice tomato plants, cucumber plants. As you see, I've gone nuts with my duckweed. The duckweed is a free food. Let's see. Oh, look at there. Got me a nice little yellow squash growing in there. And, uh, uh so my, uh, grow bed up there is working out really nice and the lettuce I'm going to put out here I'm going to turn that into just a regular old NFP and uh, put my lettuce in up there and let me walk over real quick to where and uh, oh and I've turned uh, I turned about four or five thousand uh, blue tilapia loose in the lake so we, got, we got about five thousand fish that we turned into the lake See the cage out there out of the water? We just harvested a bunch of large fish out of the out of the lake. And the duckweed I found today is the perfect duckweed. I got it in that 55 gallon drum. I'm gonna get you dizzy with all this camera walking. And in here, you can't see the fish no more. Now all you can see is duckweed. But in here I have baby fish growing. We have duckweed in here. So we don't have to feed the fish no more. This is kind of nice. The, the feeding the fish is all natural now. And the duckweed actually helps clean the, clean the water. Alright. 
Uh, the last thing I'll show you be in part two of this video is um, I went over to the pond next door and we released 55 gallons of duckweed in it. It's supposed to double its size every three days. So we're going to see what it does. So in part two, I'll show you the release of the duckweed into the lake. Um, breeding tilapia in Loxahatchee. And like I said, out here, it, uh, then we got the little floating raft. We can walk out there, we can feed the fish. We got the cage, the, you know, to stock the fish that we're gonna feed. And we, uh, we just turned loose about four or 5,000 fish out there in the lake, so the lake would be nice and healthy. And uh, I'm gonna go now and show you the, uh, the, the, the duckweed that we released next door. See y'all later, have a good day. Breeding duckweed in Loxahatchee. <laughs>